Hi, welcome to Tony's Quick Tips. Do you tell the customer what you expect from them? Now that's a bit of an outrageous thought for a lot of professionals. Me telling the customer what I expect? Absolutely, you should. We're professional advisors. We advise customers on how to resolve problems effectively and efficiently and give themselves the maximum chance of reaching their goal or goals. To do that requires the customer to work with us, not merely to be a passive spectator to the process. So one of the ingredients of a great advisor-client relationship is that the client gets that and knows what to expect and what their role is in the process. We spend an enormous amount of time and attention finding out what the customer expects, or so we should, so it makes sense somewhere back at the start of the engagement to have the conversation around what their expectations are and then what our expectations are. It sets the professional relationship on its right path from the start. So what do you expect your clients to do? My expectations are pretty straightforward and I ask clients if they are reasonable and agreeable. So here's an example. Okay, I understand what you want and expect and I believe that I can deliver it for you. Are you okay with me telling you what I expect though? If we're able to give you great advice that works, they're pretty simple. I expect clients to keep appointments or let me know as far in advance as possible if they can't. Is that okay? Clients also need to get on and do the bits of paperwork that are required to put in place recommendations and plans, rather than just be too busy for months at a time. Is that fair? You need to return phone calls. It sounds silly, I know, but I don't ring clients just to discuss the weather or the weekend's football. There will be a reason for ringing, so returning calls in a reasonable time frame is needed. Are you okay with that? The last one probably doesn't need to be said, but I like to be really upfront with everyone. Please pay invoices on time, or call me and tell me why you can't. Now, one of the things that causes a lot of unnecessary friction is money, and I would just far rather that we were both really open and able to talk about it if we ever need to. Does that work for you? Now that's pretty much what I would expect a client to commit to doing. Not commit to doing everything I tell them to do, or commit to a certain level of business even. Just commit to being business-like in our business relationship and keeping the communication open. They need to understand and accept that for me to be able to keep my end of the deal, they will have to do some things from time to time too. So discussing your expectations of clients somewhere way back at the beginning of the relationship sets up the entire advice relationship for a long time to come. So that's the quick tip for today. Tell people what you expect.